Hi guys, it's Stu here from Samsung Now. Samsung Now is where we look at all things Samsung, all things tech and all things gaming and everything in between. Just a quick note that we'll be rebranding once we reach a thousand subscribers, launching a cool website which will take things beyond what we do here and also taking things further in terms of helping you get the most of what you already have in terms of gadgets. So please look out for that. Um, as you all know, there's various sort of formats, kind of a little mini format war going on um, in terms of sort of HDR, HDR10, Dolby Vision, HLG, and all that going on. And I read an article in What Hi-Fi magazine, and they did a comparative um, test, a review, um, using comparing HDR10 to Dolby Vision. And the crux of it is, is that Dolby Vision kind of sucked. Um, they mentioned that the, the it wasn't as punchy, the, 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 it seemed dull and lifeless. And, um, you know, they did sort of have a caveat in the fact that, you know, the sample size was very small. They, they used, a, um, I, I believe, just a couple of films that, that had sort of Dolby Vision support. But they did use identical equipment for both um, HDR and, that, and make a note it's HDR not even HDR plus and HDR1 um, HDR10 the standard normal one that we all have um, one hands down against Dolby Vision um, now obviously that might just be just a bad movie or a bad couple of movies that are using um, you know Dolby Vision but you would think that if that were the case, it wouldn't be as dramatic as what they're saying it is. You can read more about the article. Um, I've given the link below just uh, and I, I don't do that normally, but it's an interesting article and I think you would, you would like it. Um, and, you know, I, I find that kind of surprising. I would imagine that given that what Dolby Vision have been saying about this, their sort of metadata and that it's frame by frame, that, that it would at the very least be the same or a bit better, but not to find that it's actually worse. And it does make you wonder, you know, is that just an issue with just those two films or is there something greater at play? Is there some issue with Dolby Vision that we're not aware of? So let me know your thoughts. If you have a Dolby Vision capable TV, have you noticed any differences between perhaps if you had HDR10 and Dolby Vision? Um, I've not had the ability to see those differences just yet. Um, certainly not in, a, in an environment that allows me to test it side by side using the same inf uh, same um, sources and everything. But it's an interesting article and I, I would thoroughly recommend you go and go and have a good old look. So yeah, I just sort of put that out there. Let me know what you think about this whole sort of HDR and H HDR 10 and 10 plus and HLG and Dolby Vision and all that and sort of your experiences of it. Um, my experiences rem just remain sort of HDR and HDR 10 because of the TVs that I've owned have been the, the Samsung one behind me and uh, a couple before that. But uh, yeah, I find that really interesting and sort of if I was buying a Dolby Vision TV or a Dolby Vision capable TV, I would kind of look to think twice or at least have a good comparative sort of view uh, at a store somewhere to see if I could sort of see the difference. OK, let me know your thoughts. A um, couple more videos coming today and uh, I'll speak to you very soon. Thanks again. Bye bye.